Dell looking for all year three and year four children. I repeat, this is Agent Dell looking for all year three and year four children. Scanning for year three and year four children. Scanning for year three and year four children. Calling all year three and year four children. Are you out there? You, you look like you're year three. And you, you look like you're year four. Great. My name is Agent Dell and I am from Polka Theatre. Today, I need your help. I need you to become agents. Agents of advice. Agents of advice. Since coronavirus came along, the world has been a bit strange and different, right? Things have changed for me, you, everyone. Well, there's a kid called Mo and he needs your help. You're the experts at being in year three and year four and Mo could really do with some advice. He's been finding things a bit difficult and a bit strange. So we're gonna hear from Mo soon and see what advice you can give him. But before we meet Mo, we need to make sure agents that you are alert, focused and up to the job. We always want to try our best to give Mo helpful and good advice. So we are going to play a game of dodge the bad advice. So here's the bad advice here. Here it is. Bad advice. Now, when the bad advice goes across the top of the screen like this, you need to duck down like this. Let's have a practice. Great. When the bad advice goes across the bottom of the screen like this, to dodge it, you need to jump over it like this. Oh, nearly lost my goggles. Let's have a practice. Did you jump? Great. Now, when the bad advice comes down this side of the screen like this, you need to jump away from it in this direction like this. Let's have a practice. And when the bad advice comes down this side of the screen, what do you need to do? You've got it. You're going to jump this way, like this. Okay, last one. When the bad advice comes straight at you like this, bad advice. You need to jump, jump backwards like this to dodge it. You can make the sound as well if you like. It's optional. Okay, so let's get going. Are you jumping? Are you ducking? Sidestepping? Going backwards? What moves do you need to do to dodge that bad advice? Agents, you have shown me that you're ready to give Mo some brilliant advice. Now, we need to find out exactly what our mission is. What's that? It's an envelope and it's labelled Top Secret. The mission must be inside. Mo needs your help. He's the same age as you and since coronavirus came along, he's had some problems and worries. You need to give him some help and advice. You are all the same age as Mo, and I am a little bit older. So agents, you're going to be the experts on this one. Hello, I'm Mo. And before coronavirus came along, my life was pretty much the same every single day. I'd wake up, brush my teeth, eat my breakfast, walk to school, do some learning, play with my friends, and then go home on repeat. Before coronavirus came along, Mo's routine was similar every single day. 
He knew what was going to happen. It felt familiar and it felt safe. So we need to understand what that was like for Mo so that we can then help him when things start to change and get a bit difficult and uncertain. So to do this, you agents are going to be acting as the character of Mo. You're going to take on Mo's role and act out his daily routine. In a moment, we're going to pause the film and you will find a partner. And with your partner, one of you will be Mo and one of you will be Mo's mirror. The agent playing Mo is going to act out Mo's daily routine using their face and facial expressions. And their body and body language. To tell the story of Mo's daily routine, we're going to do all of this without any talking at all. The agent playing Mo's mirror is going to copy their partner's actions as closely as they can. Try to make it so that you can't tell who is leading and who is following. So, to give you some ideas of some actions that you could do when it's your turn, I'm going to lead some now and I'd like you to copy them. We'll start off with Mo when he's asleep. Okay, agents, we're going to pause the film now. I'd like you to find a partner, find a space with your partner and stand facing each other with a gap between you. So agents, you should be standing facing your partner with a gap between you. Decide who's going to be Mo first and who is going to be Mo's mirror. So in a moment, I'll put some music on and Mo is going to lead the actions for their partner to copy. Remember, we're doing this without talking and also make sure that you stay in one place if you're leading the actions and keep them nice and slow and clear so that your partner can copy. Halfway through, I'll stop the music so that we can swap over and the other person can have a go at being Mo. and have a go at leading Mo's routine.
did this every single day. He knew what to expect. It felt familiar and it felt safe. Until... Hello and welcome to The News with me, Agent News. Since the arrival of coronavirus, all the grown-ups have been talking about it a lot. It has been on the news a lot. It has been in the newspapers a lot. It has been on the radio a lot. It has been on the internet a lot. Coronavirus has brought about many big changes. Coronavirus arrived and my mum said, Mo, we have to make some changes because of coronavirus. It can make people very poorly. It likes to travel from person to person and so we have to stay at home and try to keep people safe. You won't be able to have loads of your friends and cousins around to our house or be able to go and visit them in their houses. There won't be any parties, I'm afraid, or meeting up to play with lots of people in the park. Since the arrival of coronavirus, there were so many changes going on in Mo's life. He's no longer allowed to have all his friends and cousins over to play and he's not allowed to go and visit them at their houses. Lots of changes are happening. So I'd like you to think now, what are some of the other changes that have been going on in Mo's life? And also, how do you think these changes have made Mo feel? Coronavirus came along, Mo has felt all sorts of different emotions. He's felt sad, frustrated, grumpy, annoyed, happy, nervous, lonely, excited, scared, worried, tired. Sometimes he can feel all of these emotions in a single day. So we're going to explore these emotions a little bit more now. To do this, you are going to get into the character of Mo. Then I'm going to play a short piece of music and I'm going to tell you something that has happened to Mo and an emotion that that situation has made him feel. You're then going to turn yourselves into a statue of Mo in that situation showing the emotion he is feeling. So you're going to use your face and your facial expressions, your body and your body language. Is Mo holding his body tightly and tensely, or is he perhaps more relaxed? When we're there, you're going to freeze in that statue and I'll tell you the next part of what we're going to do. So make sure you're standing up tall, you've got space around you, and you're getting into the character of Mo. The first thing that happened to Mo, he was told he's not allowed to have his friends and his cousins over to play, and it is making him feel sad. Can you make yourselves into a statue of Mo in that situation when he's feeling sad? Hold your statue frozen, just use your eyes, look around at the other statues of Mo. What do people's bodies like? What do their faces look like? How do you know that Mo is looking sad? Then. I'd like you to use Mo's sad voice and copy back in his character the words that I say. I really miss having my friends over to play. I wish my cousins could come around. And then come out of that statue, roll your shoulders back twice. One, two. The next situation that Mo has found himself in. He's hearing lots on the news about people getting poorly from coronavirus and having to go into hospital. And this is making him feel scared. So can you now make yourselves into a statue of Mo in that situation when he's feeling scared? frozen in your statue, have a little look around at the other statues. What do you notice about the body language and facial expressions of all the Mo statues around you? 
then can you copy back in a scared voice as if you're mo feeling scared? What if some of my family get poorly? So many people are going into hospital. And then come out of that statue, roll your shoulders back twice, a one and a two. The third situation Mo found himself in. Lots of things are changing for Mo. Friends aren't allowed around, people are wearing face masks, it's not possible to go swimming or to the cafe, and he's feeling really confused. So this time, can you make yourself into a statue of Mo when he's feeling confused? Keep your statue frozen, have a look around at the other confused statues. What do you notice about them? Then, using your confused Mo's voice, I'd like you to copy back, what's going on? I don't understand why this is happening. Then come out of your confused statue and roll your shoulders back a couple of times. Okay, the next situation that Mo is in. He really wanted to have a sleepover with his friends, but of course he's not allowed. And this has made him feel angry. So can you make yourselves into a statue of Mo when he is feeling angry? Stay frozen, just use your eyes, look at the other angry statues. What do you notice? Are there people holding their body tensely? Is it their hands or their shoulders? How do you know that they're playing an angry Mo? Then using your angry Mo voice, I would like you to copy back the lines. It's not fair. I want my friends to come over. Then come out of that statue and roll your shoulders back twice. One. Two. Now the last situation that we're going to look at that Mo found himself in. He's not allowed to go and visit people. They're not allowed to come round to his house. And he is feeling really bored because he's not allowed friends around to play. So can you make yourself into a statue of Mo feeling bored? <laughs> Stay in your statue, just have a look around at the other bored Mo's. What do you notice about how they're standing? How do you know that they're bored? Then using your bored voice acting as Mo, I'd like you to copy back the lines. Ah, oh, there's nothing to do. I'm so bored. Then come out of that statue and roll your shoulders back. So Mo felt all of these emotions and it's absolutely fine to feel all of these different emotions. I feel them and I'm sure that all of you feel them at some point too. Look high, look low. Where are you Mo? Look high, look low. Where are you Mo? Look high, look low. Where are you, Mo? To the side, look high, look low. Where are you, Mo? To the back, look high, look low. Where are you, Mo? To the side, look high, look low. Where are you, Mo? To the front, look high, look low. Where are you, Mo? Last time, look high, look low. Where are you, Mo? One of the hardest things for me is I really, really miss having my friends to hang out with. It makes me sad and frustrated that we can't hang out with each other. And I get really lonely without having them to play with and talk to. Agents, Mo is feeling sad and frustrated because he's not able to have his friends and his family over to visit and he's not getting to see them as much as he's used to. I wonder if any of you have experienced this and felt similar to Mo. So we need to come up with some help and some advice for Mo. What can he do in this situation? Hmm. How can Mo 
stay connected to and stay in touch with his friends and his family. You've come up with some great ideas and suggestions of things that Mo can do. So we need to share these ideas with him now. How could we do that, I wonder? We're going to put all of your ideas into a friendship music track. But I'm going to need a little, a little bit of help with this. So I think I'm going to call Agent Music. Boop, 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 boop. Hello, yes, is that Agent Music? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Can you put together the friendship music track with the agents of advice? You can, great. What do they need to do? Listen up, agents. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, so you need to copy back the words and the actions that the agent of music does for you. I am agent music. Let's get going with your friendship track. I'll go first, you copy back. Off we go. When I miss my friends. There's lots I can do. Call them on the phone and ask them, how are you? When I miss my friends and want to see them all, I can ask for help to sort a video call. When I miss my friends and want to feel better, I can write my friends a lovely funny letter when I miss my friends and want some friendship time. I could play some games with all of them online when I miss my friends. I could draw a picture of all of my friends. What rhymes with picture? When I miss my friends and I am feeling sad. I remember they are awesome. Then I don't feel so bad. that's loads of ideas for things I can do to stay connected with my friends. Hello Agents of Advice and welcome to the news with me, Agent News. Reports have just come in that Mo is extremely happy with the help and advice that you gave him during the friendship music track. Wait what's that? A live update coming through? I have just heard Agents of Advice that the friendship music track has reached number one in the charts. Great work Agents, great work. What's that? Another live update? Agents, I'm hearing that Mo needs more help from you. The other day I was so bored. <sighs> I have to stay inside a lot and I'm not allowed people around to play. And oh, I just didn't know what to do with myself. I got really fed up. I was just so bored. So Mo is at home feeling fed up and bored. There's not as many places he can go to visit and he's not allowed people around to visit. Agents, do you ever feel fed up and bored? Do you ever think I don't know what to do with myself? Do you ever feel bored? So agents of advice, we need to come up with some ideas for Mo, of things he can do when he's feeling bored. going to share these ideas with Mo, I wonder. Hmm. I've got it. I know what we can do. We can act out your ideas and take some pictures to send to Mo. 
So before we act them out, we're going to practice taking some photographs. So I've got a very expensive piece of photography kit. I'm going to pass to you an expensive digital camera. Okay, get ready to take it. It's coming. Prepare yourselves. Here it is. Get ready to take it. Okay, you've got your cameras. I'd like you to hold them up in front of you and take a photo and make the sound effect. Okay, in a moment, I'm going to put some music on with a strong beat. And as the music plays, we're going to use our cameras to practice taking photos in different directions. photographers and you'll stand around the edge of the room using your cameras to take photographs of the action. The other half of you are going to be the actors in the middle of the room acting out with me all of the suggestions for things that Mo could do when he's at home feeling a bit bored and a bit fed up. So you just need to follow my actions. Halfway through, we'll swap over so you can all have a turn at being photographers and you can all have a turn at being actors. Okay, let's start off with when you're feeling a bit bored and fed up, you could draw a picture. swap over. Tidy up. Read a story. Read a story out loud to someone at home. show. And something great you can do when you're feeling a bit bored and fed up Mo, you can help other people. That's loads of ideas of things I can do when I'm feeling fed up and bored. I'm definitely going to try some of these out. 
I really liked the wool maze. I'm going to give that one a go this week. I think I'm also going to help my mum out with some stuff this week. Why don't you get a piece of paper and make a poster with pictures of all of those things on that you could do when you're feeling bored, fed up, not sure what to do with yourself. Then pop it on the wall. Then the next time you're bored or fed up, you could have a look and it could give you some ideas of things that you could do. Thank you, agents of advice. And remember, if you ever feel lonely and sad because you're missing your friends or a bit bored and fed up, it's absolutely okay to feel this way. We all feel like that sometimes. Just think about some of that brilliant advice that you gave to Mo and perhaps you could use some of those things yourself. We're gonna finish up with our official connector wave. So here it goes, it's like this, okay? It's a complex, detailed, in-depth wave. So you start with one hand and you go, then the other hand, and then you finish. Okay, let's do that all together. Agents of advice, you have been brilliant. I look forward to seeing you next time so that you can help offer lots more great advice and tips for Mo. And it's goodbye from me, Agent News. <laughs>